was just mixing colors and the black was a bit crumbly. So um, it was it was making a very interesting pattern though on the surface and I thought, well, you can't really keep that pattern because it's, you know, just not, go it's gonna be so flawed and, and not have any support. So then I said, oh, but purposely, I can just go ahead and rip it into sheets. So I, I did that, I just kind of ripped it along so that I had these long sheets. And then I took the blade and sliced down the middle of the sheet and then flipped it up so that all of the edges were on edge and it almost looks like a petrified wood or something. But in green, I think it's really beautiful too and looks like who knows, lichen or some other natural cloth. And I ripped it into small strips like this. And then I took a blade and went right down the center and then put them up side by side. So then, and then just um, con continued that. So like here, you can see how it starts to get woodsy looking. Woodsy looking. Here, it would be a uh, taller, mm -hmm. but here you can see that's how I worked with the green. Mm -hmm. And even just that, you know, you can see plain yeah. and offsetting that maybe with something else could be really an interesting thing all by itself. You know? So then I didn't know what to do with it. And so then I thought, okay, maybe little pieces could be really interesting. And I made this brooch. And the idea of the edge treatment. And that's the same thing. That's the same. Fire. It's an edge treatment, right? It's just uh, um, because it was semi dried, it, it peeled and I spiraled it up. And this is where this is condensed. Um, so it would have been a sheet of this. extruded with the extruder disc that has six holes six in it holes. and then I take that oh uh, first I make a, a tube of multi colors oh like multiple a, colors okay the disc yeah, the yeah, yeah, disc, yeah. yeah. or the you can just use uh, scrap clay yeah and then I extrude it through the um, six hole disc and then I take that and put my pasta machine down on a six or seven mm -hmm. and I run it through there and flatten it and then that's what cracks the edges oh and then i twirl it and i always have a six or seven it's got to be terribly thin it's pretty thin yes ah. uh and then i i always have i always make sure the end is white so that i can put white in the middle of it okay. or a light color right. but i usually right. do white and, and you're then, making the bale as well and the bale is also it's cut from like a football shape and just folded in half and these are little spacers that I stick a little dot of clay on. You oh, know, sure. they're, I can't see that on here, but it, it actually crackles the edges for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. 